there. You know, we've been saying it all morning. Last year we had that problem in Abington where they had nine, ten inches of rain, and we all remember the, the tragedy in Bucks County where they had about 13 or 14, similar to Atlantic City. The difference here is that the soil is mixed in with quite a bit of sand, and that's kind of like what it's down in Florida. So when you get a heavy rain, it drains just a little better than we do see in the Philadelphia area and up in the hills. So for the most part, a little bit luckier down there than we've seen in other portions of our viewing area. There's the numbers. I mean, look at the scale, eight, six, eight, ten inches here. It just goes right off the scale here, about 13, 14 inches again from Atlantic City, Northfield, uh, pretty much as Don was mentioning, kind of where the AC Expressway, Garden State Parkway kind of juncture there, that's where the heaviest rain was near Pomona, near the airport, and then it went south into Estelle Manor in Atlantic County. So this was the bullseye, and it was one storm after another. I mean, they had four or five hours of constant lightning and rain. Imagine that. I mean, that, that's, that's pretty incredible to get that much rain in a short period of time. And again, we mentioned 10 inches in about three hours. Now, where do we stand now? Things are improving, as we've been saying here. <laughs> in Boston and much of New England will mean dealing with a lot of rain today and it could be heavy at times. Thanks for joining us and welcome to Weatherscope. I'm Rick Griffin. And I'm Cheryl Lemke. Now that storm system will eventually leave cooler temperatures across the deep south, but it has already left Atlantic City, New Jersey with record rainfall and widespread flooding. Many roads in the area are reportedly closed, and travel is said to be very difficult or impossible this morning. We have had some phenomenal rain swamping the Northeast, just heavy inundating soaking downpours, and probably the hardest hit spot, Atlantic City, New Jersey, and around the Egg Harbor Township, we've had reports of well over a foot of rainfall. And all this heavy rain has really taken a toll on the Northeast, especially for Atlantic County, New Jersey. Many roads are still impassable this morning, still flooded by some very high flood water, so be really, really careful this morning. We've also had some significant rain, too, for Dover, Delaware, nearly seven inches there, and heavy-duty rain, too, for New York City and for Baltimore. Well, we'll still have some lingering showers and thunderstorms plaguing much of the northeast for today. We have a low-pressure area coming on through the area. At the same time, though, a vigorous upper-level low has yet to clear the region, and that will keep the weather still very, very unsettled. Again, here's our surface low-pressure system, and the counterclockwise circulation around that low continues to drive in ample moisture from off the Atlantic, so again, that's helping to fuel the showers and the thunderstorms. Clouds, yes, they're quite extensive this morning as we head over towards New England. 
and again some of the worst weather conditions right now right over southern New England. The rain's been coming down very hard primarily for eastern Massachusetts heading out towards Boston this morning. It's going to be a slow morning commute. Heavy rain continues around New Bedford back over towards Hyannis and Martha's Vineyard. But some better news for those of you in New Jersey. Again the worst is over. The most intense downpours have pulled off the coast. But we still can't rule out the possibility for some scattered showers or thunderstorms just because the upper level low has yet to clear the region. So until that does take place, there will still be about a 40 to a 50 percent chance of seeing still some scattered showers later on today across New Jersey. So again, be mindful of that. The floodwaters are still very, very high. Mass transportation is even being affected too throughout the Northeast. The bus routes are very late this morning around Atlantic City, New Jersey. We've had some flooding problems around the Garden State Parkway and likely the Atlantic City Expressway still having some major problems with those roadways, so be really, really careful this morning. Besides the heavier rain, we've also had some stiff winds, too, to accompany the storm system, and gale warnings have been posted, so you'll have to watch out for some choppy waters and rough conditions if you're planning on going boating. And again, the, uh, the stiff easterly fetch will produce some possibility for beach erosion and coastal flooding, primarily during times of high tide. Across the southeast, though, here comes our cold front. And as that cold front finally clears through the region, we'll see a real nice weekend, we think, setting up for the southeast. Rick? Well, Cheryl, the outlook is stormy again for the plain states today, and today's storms could be severe as they have been in uh, Nebraska so far this morning. Now, yesterday, powerful storms ripped, ripped through parts of Oklahoma, and again, could do so today. This is the town of Owasso, just northeast of Tulsa. You folks saw not only heavy torrential downpours, but wind gusts 60 miles per hour and the high winds took out some trees and power lines in the area. Let's get a look at radar out of Oklahoma.